What's up guys, Ferdinand here. This is a, a sort of requested um, tutorial that, um, uh, what's his name? Heartscar77. He basically said, um, how do you make it unsheath or something so it slowly lights up from bottom to top. So I think he means go in and out, um, which is basically, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's not really hard. Um, if you download my pack and you've got like a solid model, what you want to do is you just want to click on this little selection tool, click sort of like the plane, um, uh, well, I don't know, mode, plane mode, uh, as in plane, as in the face of, uh, I don't know, just this one. Um, oh, just what you want to do is you want to make sure it says only select visible elements and you want that unchecked so it goes straight through. And you just want to select the end here and it will automatically select the sides. And everything else, maybe just want to go around and make sure you've got all that. All right. So I've selected this whole like laser. You want to right click, go to split, and then you got two. You want to um, then go to the one that you originally split, which will, it will still be a flashing orange, and you just want to um, just want to delete that. And then what you do is you've got your solid model here of the. The handle and then the saber or the laser, and then come back to this tool here, which is sort of um, I don't know what it's called, but yeah, um, just that one there. What you want to do is you want to select the, the saber, the laser part, you want to click this sort of arrows, and you want to bring this towards the start make sure it's all in the center all centered up but just in side like just basically at this end of the the laser and then click off because if you start doing that now you'll move the whole thing um, and the reason for doing this is because when you come to scale it um, no nope, not that here we go it will scale to this point so basically how to make it go in and out, pretty simple. You just want to select the auto keyframing on. So I start with 15 and this one will be on the x-axis. So if I started there and then I want to have it go in around here. What you just want to do, you just want to bring that all the way down until you can't see it no more. Render it. There we go. And if I There and it's coming out. You might want to round this off actually, um, just so it doesn't look so cut off, as you can see. But if it's going really going it up pretty quick, you know, if I just speed that up, this is, yep, and then that'll go in. And the same with coming out. Just make it bigger. Uh, I think it's about there. Should do so. It goes. In, uh, out, in, uh, whatever, no, it goes in, out, and that's how you make it go in and out basically. Just sizing, the metal is just scaling it down from this point. So, just a little quick run through again. You just want to split your saber, then you want to select this sort of parameter to inside the handle click off and then scale it down on the X axis or whatever axis it will do most of the time being X because it's not going to be Z, Z which is sort of along the blue and get wider you know, or the height which is green which is Y but yeah I hope this um, has helped Heart, um, Heart Heart's Car 77 um, um, you know I don't know what else to say and my internet's gone, fuck. Um, but yeah, um, hope you like it. Give it a like and comment, please. Um, I'm really tired in that in a minute, so this tutorial is pretty dull, and you know, I keep forgetting my words. I've just, you know, come back from um, seeing my girlfriend. Well, yeah, so a long day. So, 
I hope you enjoyed it and watch out for the next tutorials. Peace.